of theory. And uh, the theory is going to simply be, I mean, how we can use currency strength together with supply and demand to increase the probability of our trades. Okay, so I'm just looking now at my currency strength dashboard, and this is showing me a lot of information. Down here, we can see the development of the eight, sorry, the nine most traded currencies um, relative to currency strength beginning of last month okay so we have just over a month of data here so this is very profound and you can see here that we have the Japanese yen which is strong we have the Australian dollar and the Kiwi that are weak we also have the Swiss franc the American dollar and the euro that are the winners since the beginning of last month okay and so this is something that we'll very clearly see on a price chart and this one here, we can see similar information, but this is currency strength now compared to currency strength since the beginning of last week. So today we have we have about just over two two weeks of currency strength data. Today being Friday, uh, and you can see that the British pound is is certainly being bought. Um, and so this is interesting, and the rest are pretty much stuck around the. Uh, the middle line here, the zero line. And you can see here we have the Swiss franc and the euro and the, they're slowly selling off and you can see here if you look at the Swiss franc and the euro the Swiss franc being the lime green line and the euro being the blue line I mean here they're selling off and here you can see I mean they started here and now they're slowly starting to move lower so we're seeing a decrease in demand for the euro Swiss franc okay um, okay so let's have a look uh, here here we have um, I mean, it's early Asia here, so, and it's also Friday, and so things are probably not doing a whole lot, but you can see here that, that things are pretty neutral. And this is currency strength now compared to currency strength at the beginning of yesterday. So here you can see a nice development of currency strength over the course of the past just over a day. And you can see that there's not a lot going on. We have a slight increase in the strength of the Singaporean dollar, which is the yellow line. And we have the euro, the Swiss franc, which are the weakest since, um, since yesterday. And you can see a slight increase also here in the Australian dollar and the Kiwi dollar. And we also have like a Canadian dollar here, which is looking pretty strong, maybe a bit of a pullback. Okay, so let's uh, see what that does for us. And so what I like to do in a situation like this is I like to um, mark these off. Okay, and so what I'll do here is I will say, okay, well, we have strong. So essentially, I want to find the buy currencies and then I want to find the sell currencies and so the buy currencies longer term are the Japanese yen we have the Swiss franc we have the American dollar and we have the euro that's a lot okay so that's a lot there so if we go here and we have the weak ones I'm just gonna grab two three of them and do the Aussie dollar the Kiwi and the Canadian dollar Okay, and so then I'm going to make some pairs out of these. So the Aussie, we have the Aussie yen. So this is to buy. We have the Aussie yen. Oops. Okay, that's a that's a clear buy according to the currency strength. <clears throat> we have we have a buy for the the Aussie franc. We have a buy for. Sorry, we have a sell for the Aussie franc. My bad. So we have a buy for the um, the dollar Canadian. I'll just do a couple of these, and then we'll do a couple of sells. Sell. I remove. Change the size of this here. So and sell there. And so selling, we are going to look to sell the Australian dollar. So we're going <laughs> to this should be here okay the buy the euro Aussie let's just put this here the euro Aussie and so selling we want to look to sell the Kiwi American dollar we want to sell the euro CAD okay so let's look at these one by one Okay, so we have that. Just going to move that over here, and so we are going to go to the price chart, and here we're going to see. Well, we want to look at the Euro Aussie. So we have buy Euro sell uh, Australian dollar. So let's have a look at the Euro Aussie and see what that looks like. Just here. So let's have a look. 
okay so that's moving up pretty nicely as you can see so we can have and if you look at um, like the mean of the currency strength I mean it's a positive number and it's a pretty nice positive number okay and so that's telling us that we are seeing an increase in the flows moving into the euro and out of the Australian dollar we had a huge push here and this was because of the this corona um, catalyst that kind of caused the markets in Australia to sell off and again everywhere but relative to the euro uh, this happened faster in Australia than it did in, in the eurozone okay and we have a couple of areas here that are, that are interesting for us number one we have we have this here just here we'll mark that off there and let's go to the smaller time frame and have a look and looking here on the smaller time frame and then I'd, I'd feel more keen about moving it down to here because we have we have a high we have a really sharp uh, departure the slingshot was pulled back and then we left so here about the 17100 I think that's a pretty interesting area uh, just there um, okay let's have a look at another one let's have a look at the American dollar Canadian dollar so we're looking to buy the American dollar and sell the Canadian dollar let's have a look at that chart I'm gonna make this video short today because we're going on a small trip um, okay so let's have a look daily chart looking to buy Well, you can see here that we had significant push higher um, if we have a look on the weekly chart I mean, we have an enormous gap higher so first of all we want to find we want to find out what managed to cut through these areas so we have this we actually had a really nice area of supply here this is beautiful just here this was tested a few times and now it's gone okay and so the area that did it I mean there's something down here the software found this one for us so we'll box off the whole area and we'll have a look before I do anything I'll put that there we have a look at this we at the small time frame the daily and we got it we got it somewhere here let me grab this move it over here so we have this here that doesn't want to play very well does it okay let's try again so we have here okay the massive gap and you see notice that the gap is still unfilled so the gap has not rebalanced so let's zoom out a little bit let's have another look yeah I mean this is a pretty strong departure let's go to the four hour just to be certain and you can see that I mean we had this enormous cut away I need to go to the hourly to have a super clear look yeah, I mean, this is an interesting area and just because we saw this gap. So we had this area here, not a beautiful area, but we had an area that was tested a few times. And I know this is an area because price respected it. So we had one test, two, three, four, a bunch, and then price gapped up and price has not been back. So we have the beginning of the buy zone is here. An area that's interesting is here. Okay, not so much on this time frame because we had a lot of trading in the area. But on the bigger time frame, it's more interesting uh, looking lower. We also have some other areas that are, are appealing, but we're going to see a reaction here. So I'm not going to spend too much time on, on this. Just know that price will probably have a bit of a bounce once it gets to about the 134.40 area. So go 134.40. okay um, and so we have that here so we're probably going to get a bit of a bounce at that area there so I encourage you to, to mark off these levels and just watch as price enters them and uh, and see what happens okay let's do uh, another one here um, let's look at selling the Australian dollar a, a Japanese yen yeah, and again you can see this pretty clearly that I mean this has been sold off very nicely so let's mark off <clears throat> the level that price had a tough time moving through historically is here and so what area managed to move through it it's this one here so the strength originated from this area here okay so this is probably an area that we would uh, want to watch uh, and sell at uh, should price come back up to here at some stage and it probably will um, at some stage but notice here as well that we have Again, we have extreme uh, negative readings. I mean, the, uh, the mean of the histogram is a, it's a pretty big minus number. Okay, so that's, a, I mean, that's, you can see as well, we had, I mean, it's very, there's a lot of, the histogram is 
below the zero line the majority of the time. So that's showing us we have the major flows moving to the Japanese yen and out of the Australian dollar. And we can see this very clearly here, Japanese yen, Australian dollar. Okay, so essentially we're taking this information with us onto the price chart. And the beauty of that is, is that you're not guessing. You're not guessing, um, I, should, I should be buying, I should be selling. Um, you just want to make sure that you pay attention to this information because it's very important. And this is where the flow is moving. Good, my computer's about to die, I can see, so I'll um, cut this short. But this is an interesting area here. This is at the uh, 69.85. Let's just mark that off, 69.85. 69 spot 85. And let's do one more, the, uh, the Kiwi American dollar. If my computer lasts, I might have to plug it in. But the problem with that is you get the, uh, you get the, f um, um, the feedback because there's no ground in the, in the plug, which is a blow. Okay, so here we do the same thing. Weighted price have a nice bounce historically. We had it here, bounce, bounce, sideways, and then a dump right here. So we had like a really strong push um, higher to attract some sellers. And prices retreated nicely and and it retreated from this area so there's probably something in here we want to look at I won't go into details because <clears throat> we don't have so much time today but this is what we're looking at okay so we have something here this is like the 62 uh, 20 ish area 62 20 okay um, Australian dollar, did I do that wrong? That's perfect. Good. So that's what we have. So we have a couple of things we can watch. I, I recommend that you uh, mark those off and you watch them. And I also encourage you to use the, the strength software like this and, um, and and use it to make some, some decent decisions. And if you're a little bit confused about the configuration, because there are a ton of options for configurating, just put it in the default setting like so with maybe 50 periods and leave it at that. And that'll give you a pretty good indication of what's going on, okay? And then you can just flick through the time frames. Here we're on the hourly chart. You go to the four hour chart um, and it'll show you four hour data. You can go to the daily chart, it'll show you daily data, okay? And so you're getting a pretty good overview of what's going on for these currencies, okay? Good. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. So if you have any questions, uh, send them in um, either via our Discord channel or type in a, a comment below the video. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel and then you will get updates on a, a multi-week basis. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.